Welcome back YouTube, you have Ahmed again from In-Depth Thick Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna do a quick camera comparison between the Google Camera App version 7 that got leaked from the Pixel 4 and the latest stable version 6.3 that we already have to see if there is any difference in the images quality or it's just a matter of a new interface. Also note that this app is not fully optimized for the current Pixel models so things might not go the way you expected it to be. Now let's check both of them side by side but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. Let's start with the morning comparison. These images taken on the same device, the Pixel 3 XL, using both apps and once you see the two images side by side, you won't see any difference as they look identical. Another image here shows no difference between the two apps which might be disappointing for you if you expected more from Google Camera App version 7. In this one I started to see a difference in the white balance and colors. Where the image coming from version 7 is slightly cooler than version 6.3 with less vibrant colors which make it a little more true to life. Now let's talk about the portraits. In this image both apps didn't do a great job in subject isolation missing almost the same areas while version 6.3 did better here as version 7 didn't blur a bigger portion of the rocks. Another portrait here confirms that version 6.3 is better in isolating the subject as version 7 didn't blur a big portion of the image once more. But another noticeable difference is the blur effect coming from version 6.3 is a lot more aggressive than version 7 and that's very clear if you look at the buildings in the background. So in portraits I think version 6.3 is better and again this is not the final version so things might go totally different after the official release of version 7. Let's move on to the zoom and all images are taken with 3x zoom on both apps. In this image they look very similar and again the white balance of version 7 is cooler making the white color more white. But you will only notice this if you take a very detailed look at the two images. In this one surprisingly version 6.3 showing a lot more details on the walls so overall version 6.3 again was better than version 7. Now let's check the night shots. And I did a night comparison to see if this leaked version of Google camera will add the astrophotography feature claimed in one of the previous leaks where the Pixel 4 camera can capture the stars and the answer will be in these images. Both are taken with the night sight turned on and I don't see any difference between the two and surprisingly both are showing the stars already so I'm not sure what Google is referring to here but that made me more excited to see what gonna happen with the Pixel 4 launch. The second image shows that night sight in version 7 is better as the color of the sky is more uniformed without this yellow hue at the corners and also a lot less noisy than version 6.3. Now let's check a couple of macro shots using the night sight. Here version 7 images have a cooler white balance, better focus and also brighter which looks better to me so overall I think version 7 has better night sight images. Now let's talk about the conclusion here. So if you ask me if version 7 is worth installing I would say it depends on how you use your camera. So if night sight is your most used camera feature go ahead and install it and you will also enjoy a better camera interface. But other than this version 6.3 is still better in zoom and portraits so it's a trade-off and you will be the judge based on the information I shared with you. So that's pretty much it, I hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.